नमस्ते ट्रेवलिंगन नमस्ते सिमिलर लिंग गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू द मॉर्निंग सेशन नमस्ते सिमिलर जी जी नमस्ते तारा जी सभी को नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम जी तारा जी वी कैन स्टार्ट विद द शेयरिंग्स फ्रॉम टुडे आई थिंक सुनील जी इज शेयरिंग जी 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 बिल्कुल आई हैव सुनील भैया शेयरिंग टू सुनील भैया नमस्ते नमस्ते तारा भैया सुनील कुमार एन जी विथ सो सुनील भैया बिलोंग्स टू एन एग्रीकल्चर लैंड फुट एंड प्रोफेसर एंड हेड डिविजन ऑफ सिविल इंजीनियरिंग Rural campus of Kochi University of Science and Technology, Kochi. Oh. He is having a teaching experience of 29 years. Oh. 29 years connected to UHP since June 2020. He uh, completed UHP introductory workshop in June 2020 and refresher one in February 21 and refresher two in January 2022. Where I was also a participant and. Uh, he is doing several volunteering works including uh, leading the translation regional translation team taking session in online and offline workshops uh, and also taking several activities in the southern region like facilitating the kerala chapter uh, taking active role in cost ehv cell meeting and uh, Team development meeting, weekly meeting, moderation, and also a part of this morning session moderation. So, with this brief welcome, I may welcome uh, Sunil Bhaiya. Sunil Bhaiya, over to you. Namaste. Sunil Bhaiya. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sir Abhishek Bhaiya, for this uh, elaborate introduction. Also, Namaste, all the dear college students for uh, attending early in this morning. So as uh, uh, Tara Bhaiya has introduced, I'm Sunil Kumar N, and I uh, hail from Kutanad, which is in the state of Kerala. And this place, Kutanad, is uh, is a low-lying land, which is uh, recognized by the Food and Agricultural Organization of the United Nations in 2012 as one of the three globally important agricultural heritage systems. in the country so i have also been involved in several sustainable uh, projects in this uh, part of the country that's why i mentioned this in the beginning i studied in rural schools and then did my higher education in urban areas i am currently working as sara busna bhaiya mentioned as a professor and head in the division of civil engineering in Kochi University College of Engineering Kutna which is the rural campus of the Kochi University of Science and Technology Kochi Kerala I joined uh, the university in uh, 1999 so this is my 25th year of uh, teaching in the university and prior to that I have been teaching in other uh, institutions also so my wife is Sunitha she is a government servant um she is currently holding the position as the assistant director of audit property societies uh, and my daughter parvati she is uh, doing her final year btech in civil engineering about to complete that and my son parthan he is also doing uh, his btech in civil engineering in another uh, institution which is a bit far away from our place and um, my parents are living close by like 8 kilometers away from my place my uh, i have been uh, associated with ushp since june 2020 as sir abhishek bhai have mentioned and uh, when the ushp program was introduced in my institution the kochi university from uh, 2021 i started teaching the course and when i started teaching the course i have taken this very seriously and my exploration started though it started from june 
uh, when i started teaching this to the students i not only had to understand the proposals but i have to live by the proposals also so i have been when i uh, am connected with the proposals in june 2020 i i, I could see that there are some um, similarities in, in which uh, i have been following earlier and uh, there is some connectivity which i have established but i took it very seriously when i came into this teaching part and then i started volunteering in the several activities as therapy have pointed out so that is has given me an opportunity to explore further and i'm still exploring now when we come to the when i come to the exercise number 1 uh, observing the self by the self i started attending the morning sessions from the last part of uh, batch 4 so in batch 5 6 7 8 and 9 i have been a, a consistent participant and I could get the opportunity to moderate that also in the last uh, two, three batches. So if we, if I go by uh, step by step, the first step is to be aware of uh, my imagination at this moment. So I see that this is the most crucial and important step in exercise number one. So many times I can see that I am immersed in thoughts, my imagination. Uh, for instance, in my interaction with my wife, my children, uh, my other relatives, colleagues, students, uh, etc. Many times my previous sanskar uh, play a crucial role. I have accumulated from childhood the sanskar of being special. The influence of my parents, relatives and teachers, and people in the immediate society around me uh, they have facilitated this uh, being special part in me. So the uh, dominating kind of behavior has been there with me in the past and this sanskar keeps in my interactions occasionally. Now, as I start our observation from uh, in, the, in the morning sessions, I could see that I assumed myself to be special and better than others. So, uh, others also respond or react based on my previous sanskar and their expectations, their experience with me. Rather. I am able to observe that owing to this uh, external influence, I occasionally drop back to my previous sanskar. Whenever I fall back to my previous sanskar, I am indulged with my imagination. Um, and uh, uh, may not be observing at that time. So I was under the impression that I could observe every moment after attending the uh, previous batches of the morning sessions. During the ninth batch of the morning session, I tried to uh, increase the time of observation. So whenever I, I drive alone, sit uh, in my faculty room or at home with uh, no work or little work, or Whenever I am uh, sitting at leisure, I try to observe uh, regarding the past and the recent experiences, my life experiences, what was happening within in my imagination. Uh, so, however, I can see that the possibility of improving the duration of observation. So, I still have to work upon this. So I can do it at every moment. This possibility I am exploring. So uh, coming to the step number two is the feeling at, uh, that uh, I have at this moment naturally acceptable to me. Whenever I observe that there are feelings in my imagination and I could catch the feeling and the feelings I observe that they may or may not be naturally acceptable. I'm able to see the feelings of relationship in my interaction with, my, with uh, many human beings uh, including my uh, friends, family, uh, relatives. But whenever the situation is not favorable to me, um, I slip into a feeling of opposition, particularly with a few of my colleagues. In performing household posts, when my wife uh, reacts 
I observed that I also reacted with a feeling of opposition. And my corrective measures creates a feeling of opposition in her also. Sometimes I can see that um, I react inside, not outside. Um, I'm able to see the feelings which are natural and not natural to me without evaluation. The incidences related to me being not permitted to conduct workshops by my higher authority are also some of the instances for me to observe and see my feeling within my feeling within for them. I could see that uh, um, the feelings initially are of that of opposition, and now that is slowly changing. But still, I have a long way to go. Now, in step number three, am I in harmony, happy with the feelings that I have at this moment? So, when I recognize that my feelings are in line with natural acceptance, I am in a state of harmony within. This is what I could observe. But this state is not continuous with me. When I observe deeply my feelings which guide my thoughts, I can see uh, when I am in harmony or disharmony. I can see when I am in harmony or disharmony. Sometimes I am in harmony, sometimes I am not in harmony. For example, when I observe my feelings for my, um, uh, for my higher authority, who declined many of my requests for uh, facilitation of this uh, FTPs, conducting SIP sessions in my own as well as other institutions, accompanying my students for industrial visits, etc., I could see that I was in disharmony. However, owing to the slow process of observation, I can see a feeling of relationship with the person in the higher authority. And as a result, I tried to open up to him in many times, many occasions. Uh, I am also trying to involve uh, sometimes the middlemen to help him to develop understanding of the purpose of the activities uh, mentioned uh, just now. But I can see that I have to work with my own feelings towards him. I have to see that uh, my feelings are to be ensured towards him. So I am still working with that. Now, what I can observe is that uh, the feelings toggle between that of uh, relationship and opposition, but uh, it is uh, slowly uh, coming to the way of uh, uh, relationship than opposition now. So that is uh, uh, an improvement which I can see after uh, attending this batch number nine. Now, the uh, step number four in exercise one, who decided the feelings that I have at this moment? Uh, am I or someone else, situation outside, decided? This step is an all important step, I consider. I can observe that I am responsible for all the feelings which I have. Uh, this is evident from my feelings which I derive out of the external happenings. That is, uh, for example, denial of uh, several of my requests, which I consider to be genuine. In many meetings in the institutions. When uh, many of my proposals are getting rejected, I develop a feeling of opposition to the higher authority. Now, when I observe and try to undergo step number four, I can see that it is me who has decided my feelings at this moment and not by anybody else. It is not influenced by uh, anything outside also. It is my decision. So I can see that I have to work upon myself to set, to ensure my feelings in line with the natural acceptance. So this is, this process is still going on. With batch nine of exercise one, I can observe that steps number one to four are happening in quick succession. Observing the imagination uh, as they are and evaluating if they are naturally acceptable and my responsibility for my feeling could be seen as a single step now. Now, when, when I come to step number five and exercise number one, on what basis I, am, I decide the feeling I have at this moment? Did I decide on the basis of uh, understanding or on the basis of assumption? 
I can see that I have, I had been under my many, many preconditioned assumptions when I took some decisions. As I mentioned, my sanskars play a major role over here. The behavior of the other, other human beings was evaluated and considered as the basis of decisions many occasions in the past. But now I realized the need for right understanding as in step number five. This is evident from my shifting in behavior with uh, some of my colleagues with, with whom um, I have been in opposition in the past. Some of my assumptions based on uh, futuristic assessment with some of my colleagues went wrong when I uh, worked for right understanding. I felt very low and irritated owing to unfavorable behavior of uh, some of my colleagues in the past. But after opening up to the USP proposals and uh, undergoing this step number five of exercise one, I can recognize that my feelings of low or irritation are owing to my lack of understanding. Now I try to know things to the core before jumping into assumptions or conclusions based on reconditioning or sensations. But this process is a, a long process, a time-taking process, and still going on and continuing. Last an example which I mentioned in the previous uh, sharing also, when I saw my son uh, closing a glass window, forcefully facilitating breakage of the glass panel, I associated this uh, his anger as uh, which could have triggered him to uh, break the glass and how I could get it repaired. So I was worried about how I could get it repaired. I associated a feeling of opposition to my son and scolded him for a while. Uh, this happened in a night uh, that is many, many months before. I uh, realized through the timely intervention of my wife at that time, that the feeling of my son and that between me and my son are important than the material. So I stopped uh, scolding him and I uh, apologized to him. And during that night, I slept with him on his bed and we talked for many, I would say a couple of hours with a feeling of a relationship. And he could also observe uh, regarding the incident which happened and was emotional for some time before we engaged in sharing with a feeling of relationship. So in September 6, which feelings are naturally acceptable to me, a feeling of relationship or opposition, harmony, disharmony, harmony or disharmony, coexistence or struggle. And September 6, B, I explore within to understand the relationship, harmony and coexistence in its completeness uh, in the context of uh, the whole nature existence. I could see that September 6, A and 6, B, uh, much better after batch 9. So it was not that much clear till batch number seven, eight. Now it is better. Whenever I try to observe my imagination, I could see this. When my colleagues, students or children react to me and situation is not favorable, I went into a feeling of opposition and disharmony earlier. When the students of my class uh, did not attend the sessions, that was uh, happened yesterday, uh, the day of holy. And this uh, day of holy is not a holy day in the southern part of the country. So when I went into the class, I could see that uh, I, I usually go a little bit early to the class and I arrange this projector, the laptop, um, other articles before the students are there in the class. So yesterday also I arranged everything and I was waiting for the uh, students to come. I waited for 10 to 15 minutes in the class, uh, I mean, during the class hours, but I couldn't see anybody uh, in the class. Um, I was observing my feelings even sitting in the class when nobody was there, but with the projector on and the slides are on the screen. I could see that the students would have uh, uh, cut the class owing to this uh, holy, and there were like 20% of the students belonging to uh, North India, and it is this festival is very important as far as they are concerned. So I could, uh, initially I was under the impression that why the students are not coming and why they did not inform me. But then slowly that changed to a feeling of 
relationship with them. Uh, I could have felt a feeling of opposition towards them had it been before uh, exploring this exercise one. So uh, what I did is I just disconnected the projector. Uh, you could see that they're not going to come. So I have taken all the articles back to my faculty room. And then as a um, routine work, I have to inform this to the uh, class tutor. The batch belonged to another division, so it was not belonging to my division. So I informed the class tutor and the HOD. Then um, in the students' WhatsApp group of that batch, I posted the slide of uh, lecture number one of UHP2 with the content, uh, do you want to decide what to do and what not to do by yourself or are you dependent upon someone? And I requested them or suggested them to observe with this in connection with the uh, decision they have made with a feeling of a relationship only. In the afternoon, the class representative of that class came to me and uh, he apologized. I suggested him to refer to natural acceptance, not only him, but all the students in the class. So they, in the afternoon, because of the persuasion from the HOD of that uh, division, the students came to the class. So I just uh, asked him, is cutting the class when it was not a holiday, is it naturally acceptable to you and uh, other students also? So this I could, I could uh, respond in this manner only because of uh, undergoing this proposals of UHP and uh, undergoing this exercise, one of uh, UHP. So in step 6b, contemplating relationship with every other human being, understanding harmony with the nature and uh, realizing the coexistence with the entire existence, is slowly being uh, transferred from the level of information to the to verification in me. I can see that this is a long journey, it's a long process. So I continue working with myself with regard to this step number 6a and 6b. In seven, uh, ensuring that the feeling that you have at this moment, I have at this moment, is in line with the feeling of a relationship harmony and coexistence, and not otherwise. On what basis? On this basis, I will be in a state of harmony and happiness at this moment. So, with regard to this step, I require deeper exploration. I'm trying to understand the true meaning of happy, uh, harmony and coexistence through experiential validation. I can see that all creatures, even a lizard on the wall or any other object which I throw away other, otherwise, etc., are related to me. However, understanding it in completeness is a far reaching thing, but not impossible. Not an impossible goal for me. It is, it is possible, but I have to work. I can see that I am happy at this moment. However, to ensure the continuity of the same, I have to work more, explore more, and experientially validate the proposals. So I can observe that my feelings and thoughts were off track at times, and they put me in a state of ego or depression, most likely. But during the process of verification, verifying the proposals, I can see uh, the natural acceptance and my thoughts are getting slowly aligned with relationship, harmony, and coexistence. But again, I repeat, this is a long there is a long way to go to reach the state of uh, continuity of uh, happiness. So I can see that I have uh, to work with all the steps in exercise one. Again, I was uh, under the impression that after the batches six, seven, eight, etc., I progressed much in observing self by the self. But now I realize that I have to work more. Whenever the conditions are conducive, I am in a state of harmony. And whenever they are not, I am in disharmony and try to work with myself uh, through observing my feelings associated with those conditions. So this is very important for me, I could see this. Now in exercise two, observing the self, the body, and the interaction between the self and the body in space by the self. I mean, step number one is I'm in space, the body is in space. I can observe that both I and my body are existential realities and are in space as in step number one. I can see that my body is made of uh, material, that is atoms, molecules, etc. as any other material. And self, who is a seer, the decision maker, and the experiencer is a consciousness reality. 
and um, I and my body are in coexistence in space that is still information to me on which I have to explore more. However, the concept of no activity ever pervading space is yet to be understood clearly and working upon the same. So step number one, access two is to be explored in detail as far as I'm concerned. Now in step number two, I transact information with the body through space from time to time as and when required. This is uh, continuous, there is continuous transfer of information from my body to self uh, in the form of sensations and uh, from the self to my body in the form of uh, instructions. So sensations of hunger, pain are some examples, but this is happening through the space and the proposals of the self and the body are different and distinct is still at the level of information to me. I'm working upon myself to see this distinctiveness between the self and the body. So uh, from the sensations which I give importance or ignore sometimes, it's a pain in different body parts, not reading the sensation for sleep or noise outside while focusing upon a class or focusing upon some important work, etc. are examples. I can see the distinction between the self and the body to some extent. However, I have to work upon it further. This is uh, uh, naturally leading towards uh, step number three and four. Where step number three is I am the one who decides what instruction are to be passed to the body and what sensation are to be read from the body. I can see step number three of exercise two uh, clearly as I can ignore some sensations from my body at times. I forget about the body pain or some ailment in my body while I conduct classes. This has been observed in the past many times also, as I enjoy doing the thing. But as and when I finish uh, a class meeting, I become aware of the sensations of, uh, from the body. I read that. This happened several times to me. I can see clearly that when I am deeply involved in some important job, I forget about other sensations from the body, like uh, hunger, pain, tiredness, sensations from outside, sound, taste, smell, form, sight, etc. I feel the tiredness, loss of voice, etc. after conducting a class. To rightly utilize my body, um, I purchased a teaching mic and speaker recently to conduct classes. Uh, so this is helping me to conduct classes for uh, batches of uh, 50 plus. Now we conduct classes for a batch of 70 and uh, another batch of uh, 27. So this mic is not helping me to rightly utilize my body. Now in step number four, um, I'm not aware of some sensations when I am involved or in interesting activities, say, uh, for example, playing badminton, that's something which I am fond of, conducting classes, etc. I can observe that I'm in the, I'm not the sensation. For example, when I play badminton, I may, may not read the sensation of tiredness owing to my involvement in the game. And when I finish the same, I could read the sensation of fatigue and tiredness. I slowly try to see the difference between the self and the body in the context of uh, reading or ignoring the sensations. But still, I have a long way to go. Step number five, my interaction with the body and or the world tired is by way of sensation the sensation by decision, give meaning to sensation, my reaction response depends on my sense car. So my past experiences sense car with uh, the other persons, as I mentioned before, guides my response or reaction with them. Now my mother is ill and she has been hospitalized uh, several times in the past. I can see my uh, feeling of relationship with my mother and also recognize that her body needs medical treatment and I need to spend time with her. I have been doing this, uh, that is spending time with my mother with the utmost priority. Decisions regarding treatment um, and discussions regarding this created certain difference of opinion with my father, but I could handle such situations with uh, calmness mostly uh, not in opposition. Had it been earlier, a few years before, I would have been in opposition and would have uh, quarreled with him. But now it is not happening with me. 
so step number 5 of exercise 2 is helping me to read the sensation by decision and see that my response or reaction depends on my sense star i can see that my uh, that many times i react to situations outside uh, rather than respond in the past but the frequency of reaction comes down as a consequence of uh, observation now in 6a step number 6a i tend to re react if my sense star is based on assumptions i decide my feelings right or wrong uh, become happy or unhappy based on external inputs the expression of my feelings outside as a result of my is as a result of my sense card as i mentioned before so reactions based on external inputs are being observed now the transformation from reactions to response is very gradual i observe that slipping back to my deep rooted previous sense card is now getting reduced but i can help myself to see that at uh, such occasions my assumptions are not based on proper knowing i spend time to understand things before acting based on assumptions interaction with students during the recent uh, industrial visit is an example when they asked for extension of time for the visit i had a long discussion with them to bring their attention back to the conditions stipulated for the visit and Uh, attending classes from the next day so when some of them reacted i also slipped into a reaction more triggered triggered by my previous sense card but i could observe that it um, immediately and then i tried to bring my attention back to natural acceptance i tried to be calm and composed uh, to the extent possible during that interaction so then i tried to respond but this is happening going to undergoing this exercise and uh, i could observe whenever i am going into this reaction mode that it is a reaction now in step 6b i respond when my sanskar is uh, based on understanding i continue to remain in harmony so this step um i have uh, started working with step number 6b through my observation of uh, returning back to my previous sanskar owing to lack of right understanding when some of my proposals to strengthen the content presentation uh, the content of presentation uh, to an assessment team were rejected in a meeting by my higher authority i did not slip to my previous sanskar of arrogance but could speak to the higher authority with a feeling of affection privately and uh, convey my points the partial acceptance of the suggestions was an indication of uh, ensuring naturally acceptable feelings in me even if the suggestions were not accepted fully i try to find alternative paths to present good practices in front of the um, this assessment team and it works to, to some extent now the step number 7 observing my being in space i am in space in coexistence in space the body is also in space in coexistence in space i transact information with the body through space as and when required by my choice not uh, by my decision so i am trying to see that i am in coexistence with all the other units in space i can see i am in space and my body is in space but i am still trying to understand this uh, space the step number 7 is to be experienced with uh, much time for me so i am still working upon this i know this is a very, this is a glimpse of uh, exercise number 3 so i am trying to work upon this this is still far away to be realized so i feel that i have to undergo exercises 1 and 2 again and again at every moment to have more clarity and continuously and continuously in living i have a feeling of being special and enjoy privilege of the same but i see that all human beings are similar at the level of purpose program and potential and we differ only at the level of competence as and when i interact with uh, my colleagues students and friends and the family members i am able to see my level of competence improving through the process of through the process of uh, uh, observation but that is very gradual now when i come to the indicator number 4 in the slide uh, happiness is your innate nature and not the effect from outside how clearly am i able to see this i had been searching for happiness outside as i was in a confused state before verifying most of the proposals of uhp i could recognize that i have 
a natural inclination towards the proposals of usb while attending my first workshop my affinity to the proposals and wish to verify them are results of the same now regarding my happiness the dependence on expectation from outside is getting reduced gradually as i can observe it through my interactions with people and nature my research on sustainable construction working with students occasionally not turning into uh, favorable results etc are not affecting my happiness now so i can see that there is a gradual transformation now regarding my commitment part as the observation is a continuous process i try to develop the right understanding through all the activities whether they are uh, interactions with other human beings or work with the nature i can see a gradual shift in my feelings to naturally acceptable ones as my as many of my projects belonging to sustainable sustainability in construction i can directly relate the proposals with the work and devote time to social responsibilities i shall continue sharing values at various levels and platforms helping my myself and others to improve competence i shall continue volunteering activities in online offline workshops weekly meetings the kerala chapter meetings the kusat usb cell meetings various uh, projects related to usb including the translation of the content into malayalam and other uh, other works now i can observe that uh, there is no distinction or border between border line between my regular ac academic activities and usb activities when i involve myself in uh, teaching and guiding engineering content the proposal of usb comes in and help me and the students to see things with uh, clarity so i speak about uh, uh, being aware and human goals in the class very often connecting the flow of the of my academic discussions connecting to the flow of my academic discussions in uh, other activities i also also i can see the influence of the proposals of uhp in a very natural way so my sincere gratitude to all the mentors uh, ganesh ji shamla didi uh, rajul ji kumar bhaiya other panel members and co explorers uh, in the mentoring in, in the morning sessions i express my sincere thanks to umesh ji vanchana ji and uh, many other mentors who have helped me improve my competence thank you tara prasanna ji thank you shambhala didi thank you rajul ji and thank you all other panelists and uh, uh, my dear co explorers over to you thank you so much thank you so much sanil bhaiya for exemplifying all the steps and giving us you know lot of insight in many different directions thank you so much and i just uh, forgot to mention that uh, sunil bhaiya you know brought a huge team in southern region who are now also being part of this morning session in various uh, online and offline activities of uhp so thank you sunil bhaiya so before we have few more hands raised but before we go to them uh, let us take comment from अंडरस्टैंडिंग ग्रोज बिट बाई बिट एज वी कीप exploring keep listening to the proposals keep going through these steps of exploration within so even you know when you say that such and such thing i was not able to observe till the 8th batch and now in the 9th batch i could see this so this is a uh, i think a um, very natural process by which slowly when we are paying attention we are able to pick up some things the same statements may have been heard by us from many batches but at some point whenever our readiness is there it seems to click 
and we start paying attention to that. So I think um, you are exemplifying one of those things that I could notice very well, how you have been able to um, go through the points. And I can also see, you know, when I go back to your previous sharings, especially the early sharings, I can see a lot of growth in that. And also this point about, you know, the question about whether you can explore if you are um, spending a lot of your time in participation. This is often a question for many of the new participants who are um, hesitant to do the volunteering activities. And I think this shows that even though you are very active in so many volunteering activities, you are involved, yet this process of exploration can keep going on. So all the very best to you, best wishes, and continue with the exploration. Thank you so much, Shamla Bibi, for um, your comments. Every day, whenever whenever I listen to you, uh, Kumar Bhaiya, even if it is in Hindi, I could see that there is something, some takeaways there every day. So I noted down in my notebook also, which I could not read every day, but uh, I see that there is whatever I get uh, through the exploration of uh, other participants and your responses to those uh, questions. I can, something I can copy and something I can explore within and see for myself. So even though the steps of exercise are repeated uh, batch after batch, the newer and newer um, versions you are giving, or newer and newer explorations which are being put forth by the co explorers, they are very worth listening. That is not only helping me to uh, improve my personal activities, but helping me to conduct the workshops also in a much, much better way, responding to questions particularly in the workshops. These are very helpful. So thank you so yeah. much, Didi. Yeah. Thank you. Very nice. Very sincerely, you have honestly tried to share. And I think uh, that will give a fair idea to all the participants of how one can try to share. So it's not about that I can see every step, but rather try to honestly and sincerely look at your progress slowly. And I think you have exemplified that very well. Thank you. Thank you, Didi, for your comments and suggestions.